All right, everybody, I'm really excited to be back with you today. Uh, this video is all about how to write a business proposal using ChatGPT. This is truly one of the most valuable skill sets you can build, certainly in all of business, potentially in all of life. It opens up a multitude of doors uh, that lead to growth, that lead to innovation, and that lead to business longevity. So there are a lot of benefits to a good proposal. It really is the most persuasive communication tool being used these days. It can help you paint a vivid vision of partnership success. It can help you articulate your value propositions and it can demonstrate to your clients or customers that you deeply understand their needs and their challenges. So this one skill can really transform your ideas into tangible opportunities. It can catalyze different partnerships. It can really serve as the cornerstone for fundraising and all of your business development and sales needs. So let's get into it. There's three phases that I want to go through today. First is the research and planning phase, which is often uh, skipped as people jump right into crafting the, the copy, crafting the, the proposal itself. And it's important as we go through today, you can think about these uh, as both a slide deck or a more of a long form written proposal. And we're going to kind of work through some prompts and things that will allow you to generate maybe a long form written proposal. And then towards the end, there are some prompts that show you how to uh, summarize the, the longer form written proposal into a very punchy slide deck. And you might want to send both of those off. You might want to present the deck and then send, send the long form over to your prospect. Uh, they can be useful in different scenarios. So this will cover both of those. Uh, especially as we get into that revising and formatting section in the uh, towards the end of the video. Uh, I want to mention that in my Patreon, I do have a cheat sheet that includes all of the prompts we're going to go through, plus about a dozen or two more prompts. It's got a little more intel uh, that I couldn't squeeze into the video today. It's got some great additional resources, etc. So that's there. There's a link in the description of the video. But let's jump right in here with understanding the request. This is a critical uh, step that I often skipped, much to my regret. I can think of many clear examples that I lost deals because I didn't really uh, put what the uh, person or the client, the customer had told me in our initial um, in our initial conversation into the proposal. So they're going to bring a lot of different ideas to the table. They're going to have different ways of describing their problem. They're going to be looking for certain features and things. Many of those might align with exactly with what you do. And some of them probably won't. I think it's important not to uh, skip those and just kind of move forward showcasing how awesome your solution is, but making sure that you take the time, take good notes, maybe record those initial conversations, or if it's an RFP, pay close attention to the requests in that RFP and make sure you understand everything in there and make sure that that's represented in the proposal. Because you know we're oftentimes pulled into to focusing on our service, on our products, and uh, we don't uh, listen deeply enough to what the other uh, party is looking for. And even if we are listening, we might not put that in the proposal in a big enough uh, format because uh, you want to really make sure that they they know that you've you've heard them. And uh, I, I got to stress to you that deep listening can win deals. And this is something that ChatGPT and other uh, AIs can help with by making sure that you understand the things that they spoke about. Here's a couple quick prompts. You know, what is a, a user friendly interface? What does that mean? Asking that to ChatGPT, even though you might have some ideas about what that means, getting that uh, AI to give you kind of a third party unbiased review of what that means so you can embed that into the proposal. Um, and you know maybe asking what is a responsive website these days so today's examples if you can't tell are all about a proposal for a coffee shop website so these are some term terminology that comes up when you're building a website using ChatGPT and other AI tools to just make sure that you understand what the request is how the customer potential customer has described their problem and make sure that makes its way into the proposal is critical Next, we're moving on to more research. So uh, this is a really, really powerful part of the uh, process that AI can help with. 
just doing a little research on the client, on the client's industry, the specific problem at hand, maybe the nuances of that project versus other projects that you've done in the past to make sure you understand what's going on there. I use a tool called Perplexity. I'm gonna jump over to that tool. Here are some of the prompts that I use in Perplexity, again, for this coffee shop example. Can you provide some successful examples of a coffee shop website and its standout features? And Perplexity goes through and does a ton of different searches for you, compiles a great answer here with some really standout coffee shop websites, detailing what makes these coffee shop websites really powerful. So all of that we're gonna use here in a second in our process. Another uh, prompt here, what are the latest trends in restaurant or coffee shop website design? Again, for a proposal about a coffee shop website looking into these trends even if you have some ideas of some of these things it can be really helpful to just see it all laid out here and most importantly then you can just copy and paste this into the next section there's these beautiful little clipboard icons that are very helpful um, so those are a couple of the prompts here I'll, I'll just leave this screen you can take a screenshot of these or again they're in the cheat sheet but using perplexity or other AI tools with browser features enabled to uh, do some digging into the specific industry and get some more details around success cases and, and trends uh, that can help you really infuse all of that into your proposal. And now we're going to take all of that and we're going to drop it into chat GPT. GPT-4 is what I'm using currently, although there's a lot of wonderful tools coming out. This prompt here allows you to take that research and begin developing an outline from it. So we'll jump right in here. You can see exactly what that looks like. So I said using the following research helped me create an outline for a business proposal that addresses the creation of a coffee shop website. And then I just copied in that, that um, research without any editing, etc. Put both of the, uh, of the um, replies I got from Perplexity into this one prompt and I let it go and it came back with some great stuff it says certainly based on this extended research here's an outline and there you go now you've started to begin this outline and then you can now begin to start filling out each of these sections so that's what we go through next work with ChatGPT or another large language model to go through each of these sections the executive summary company description problem statement proposed solution implementation plan, cost and pricing details, benefits and value proposition, case studies and testimonials. You may not want to go through all of these in this exact order. In fact, you probably want to save the executive summary for the end. And you might want to start with your proposed solution or with some of the benefits and value proposition uh, and then work your way to the other sections. But I think it's important if you have not done too many proposals to work through each of these sections. Uh, if you've done a bunch of proposals, you might be able to pick and choose and simplify some of these down. But this will get you the gist of all of the uh, components you need for an effective proposal. Before we move on to that revision process, here again are some prompts that you can use to work through each one of those sections. Uh, with ChatGPT, this is where editing comes in. You want to really ask it uh, to, you know, focus on the, the the strengths that you see, and you can you can do this inside of the chat largely. Just say, hey, this part is great. This part is not quite a fit. Can you rewrite based on that? And it should help you then work through each section. Like I said, the sections it returns are going to be fairly long. So the next process here is, hey. Uh, can you help me condense this section of my proposal down without losing any key information? And prompt eight here, if you have done some editing to it, make sure you're using it to just make sure it's anything you've edited is clear or you haven't added any grammatical errors. That can be helpful there. Uh, but then editing it down, condensing the proposal without losing any key elements. Here, <clears throat> in my example, I have, hey, can you help me condense this section of my proposal down without losing any key information and then it does slim it down quite a bit where it could probably fit on one page again this would take a little bit of editing needed here 
uh, but you're you're getting pretty close there to a good section. Uh, this would be good for the long form if a, if it's like a PDF. Uh, you know, long form proposal that you're creating and we'll get to what to do if you're creating a slide deck, which most people are, but I think the long form is a pretty good way to start and then you just keep revising that down, tightening it down to a beautiful uh, punchy slide deck. So moving on, the CTA. This is the most important part of the proposal and a lot of people skip this part. They focus all on themselves, focus all on their uh, their solution and they don't tell anybody what to do next or how the pr how the process is going to unfold I would say spend a good amount of time focusing on the CTA um, And here's a pro here's a prompt for that. I have a whole video on this It's my copywriting master class with AI it focuses a lot on good CTAs calls to action um, it's the most important part of the proposal so take a look at that and Make sure you're spending some time on the CTA. Now we're getting into formatting. So now that you've worked through everything, you've got a pretty good draft, um, and it's not, you know, each section is a reasonable length, not super long. Now you want to tighten that up a little bit. Say, hey, please reformat this long form proposal into a slide deck format with no more than 30 words per slide. I found that 30 words can fit on a slide pretty good. You might want to. You know, you might be able to squeeze a few more on there. Obviously, less is more if you can get it uh, punchier, but you really want it to be as persuasive as possible. Uh, then you can ask, hey, what are some simple and clear visual elements that would make this more appealing? So you can use ChatGPT to help you um, decide what uh, what visuals to add to the uh, to the proposal. And there are tons of tools out there. This is a snapshot from my uh, cheat sheet here. There's a bunch of great proposal generating tools that use AI. Um, a lot of these have very different, you know, benefits, different uh, strengths, different weaknesses. Uh, so I encourage you to check those out. Sometimes they try to do a little bit too much, but you can, um, you know, maybe find the, the, the areas that they shine and really use them for that. Again, there is a lot more in that cheat sheet. There's a whole section here on converting text to slides. So just taking the, um, the, the copy that you've created and pulling that into a um, uh, deck that you already have designed. These are some ways you can do that. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a lot in there. So that is basically a wrap on how to write an effective proposal using ChatGPT and other AI tools like Perplexity. Again, check out my Patreon. I've got that cheat sheet in there. I've got dozens more just like it. And there's some coaching options in there as well. There's a link in the description for all of that. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate all that. And I will see you on the next video. Do it. Make your dreams come true. Just do it.